The Story of the Ferdinand by Munro Leaf Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls, he lived with wood, run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cock tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in the shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, Moo, who worried about him, she was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here when I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw and he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even thought she was a cow, she let him just sit and be happy. As the year went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was big and strong. All the other bulls who have grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bull fights in Madrid, Spain, but not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the court tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in, very funny, had to pick the biggest, fastest, rougest bull to fight in the bull fights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around and snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and picked them. Ferdinand knew that they would then pick him and he didn't care, so he went up to his favorite court tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on the bumper bee. Buzz. Well, if you wear a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You will see him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt Ferdinand? Jump up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting. Butting and pawing. The ground is... Out. I'm going to try again. Ground as if... He were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. He was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one of the bull fights in Madrid. Spain. So they took him away from the bull fight day in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, band were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They have a parade into the bow ring. First came the banderilleros with long sharp pins with ribbons on there to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadors who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in bull and make him madder. They came a matador, the proudest of all he thought was very handsome. And bowed to the ladies, he had a red cane and the sword that was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Hmm. There came the bull. And you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand. The fierce and all the banderilleros were afraid of him and the picadors were afraid of him and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought 
he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horn around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers in all the lovely lady's hair and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and he fears know what they did. He sit, just sat and smelled. And the bandley girls and met and the picketos were mad and the matadors was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they have to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he's sitting there still. Under his favorite cot tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy and thank you very much for our channel. Click on the bell button and subscribe. Bye.